So this morning, uh, I have the pleasure of, of sharing the God story um, this week. Um, and I'm going to try to be brief. Uh, but uh, um, for as long as I can remember, um, which is a while, I guess, um, I have struggled with um, anxiety and um, low self-esteem and insecurity. And um, I want to be clear to say I've never been insecure about my place in, with Christ or in Christ. I've never been insecure about my, um, my hope, my salvation, um, but insecure with myself, um, which probably seems kind of silly, but um, I don't know if it's from being uh, the baby in the family or, um, or any such things like that, or maybe just pressure I put on myself, but I've always struggled with caring too much about what people think. Um, and I, <clears throat> sorry. And I struggle <clears throat> with remembering how God sees me, how he sees me in Christ. Um, and it, it's even so often in looking at scripture and, and trying to remind myself at times uh, when I feel the most low or down or anxious um, or insecure, it's, it's hard to remember that. Um, whether it be because my brain just doesn't want to align with what my heart says or whatever. But um, we've been here, uh, we moved here on Labor Day. And um, without going into too much information or saying too many different things, um, my past experience serving in church uh, has not been a, always a great encouragement. Not that it always is. You can talk to Pastor Brian or, or Pastor Wade about that. Um, but uh, even from a, from a staff standpoint. And, um, and there was a time before coming here where I thought that um, maybe... I just wasn't cut out for this whole ministry thing, serving a full-time ministry. And, um, and we came and we met with the elders, and um, we knew that we prayed about it, and we knew this is where God was calling us. And um, it's been great being here. I hope you've enjoyed having us, even for the time that we've already been here. I hope for, for many more months and years to come, if you'll have us. But um, the, 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 the best thing that's been for me um, since being here is, um, and I'm not just blowing smoke at him, but serving under Pastor Wade and getting to interact with him every day, almost every day, um, and his, him learning my personality and vice versa, and there was a time early on where he, he went into my office, which has now moved, but that's another story, um, and he wrote a verse on my wall, or on my whiteboard, and um, he wasn't coming from a place of throwing scripture in my face or saying, hey, you don't feel this way because this is what the Bible says, but as an encouragement, and, um, and I want to read that to you, and it's from 2 Corinthians 12, starting in verse 9, but he said to me, this is Jesus speaking, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. And this is then, then, then Paul's response is what, is what I desire for my response to be. Therefore, therefore I will, <clears throat> sorry. Therefore I will most gladly boast all the more about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may reside in me. So I take pleasure in weaknesses, insults, catastrophes, persecutions, and in pressures because of Christ. For when I am weak, he is strong. <clears throat> and it's really easy to say that now. And if you're, if you're like me and you struggle with these things, you know in the moment your first response is to not remind yourself of that. And um, there was a song that came out a little while ago um, called Dear God. And it was the first time I had heard someone really express um, this, this dilemma, this, this quandary um, with feeling this way and still being in Christ. And, uh, and I'm going to sing it for you here in a second if that's okay. But um, there's the first half of the song is, is, um, is Corey Asbury, the writer, um, just sharing. He's writing a letter to God and just sharing his thoughts and his feelings with him, the things that he's wrestling with, and, uh, which is really cool. But the second half... Um, is where I hope this might be an encouragement to you as well that it's been to me to this morning. 
Um, but it's, it, it's, his, it's God's response to us. It's God's response to him in this song. Um, and uh, there's, there's a part um, in the song that, that I have struggled with for many reasons. Uh, but there's a line that says, just know that you have always been enough. And this is God speaking. And that's not to say that we are enough, because obviously Christ is enough, and that's the, you know, the whole point of the gospel. But saying that when we come to the Father with these doubts, with these weaknesses, with these insecurities, we don't have to have them all figured out. That coming to him and, and voicing to him what, how we're feeling and being honest with him is enough. And uh, it's really hard to, to think that sometimes. But anyway, I want to sing this song with you. I'm going to take a drink of water first, but... Uh, I'm going to sing this song to you, and hopefully this morning it will be an encouragement to you, as it has been to me many times, and uh, hopefully I'll get through it here. But Anyway, this song's called Dear God. <clears throat> Trying awful hard to make you proud of me, but it seems the harder that I try, oh, the harder it becomes. And I feel like giving up most of the time. I've been chasing their approval and it's killing me And I know The more I try to prove Oh, the less I have to show And I'm stuck inside my head Most of the time But if I pray a little harder, if I follow all the rules, I wonder could I ever be enough? Cause I try and try just to fall back down again. And I ask myself why do I try to chase the wind? I could lean into the mystery, maybe hope is found in a melody. So I want to try again Oh, I'm going to try again Dear child I hope you know how much I love you And I'm proud of you Please believe thoughts I have for you will never change or fade away and when you feel like giving up I never did cause I'm not scared of imperfections or the questions in your head just know that you have always been enough Cause you tried and tried And I saw you wrestle with Every how, every why You're right there listening So just fall into the mystery And I'll meet you here in the melody So try just to try again Oh child, would you try again? My child, you can love again. 